is tuning machine so what is tuning machine so tuning machine at first uh, from in, uh, invention tuning machine was invented by allen tuning in 1936 and it is used to accept recursive immutable language generated by type 0 grammar a tuning machine consists of a tap of infinity length on which read and writes operation can be performed the tap consists of infinity cells on which every cell either contains input symbol or special symbol called blanks it also consists of a head pointer which points to cell currently being on the read and it can move in the both direction so now uh, our tm is expressed as seven tuple uh, seven tuples where uh, q is infinity state of uh, q is the infinity state of state but t is the tap, uh, tap alphabet then b is blank uh, symbol uh, then uh, this is uh, input alphabet uh, then this symbol is a transition function on which maps u into t uh, implies u into t into nr then uh, q0 is uh, initial state and f is the state of uh, final uh, final state state of final state then uh, next page basically there are four type of tuning machine the multi track tuning machine multi tape tuning machine multi tape multi head tape tuning machine and multi head tuning machine so at first let's start about uh, let's discuss about and discuss about the multi track tuning machine so what is multi track tuning machine multi track tuning machine is a specific type of multi track uh, multi tap tuning machine con uh, contains multiple tracks but just one tap head reads and write on all tracks here a single tap head reads on n symbol from n tracks at one step it accepts recursively immutable language like a normal single track and single tap tuning machine a multi multi track tuning machine can be formed uh, formally described as a six tuple q x yeah, then uh, this uh, symbol uh, of summation and uh, then the symbol and q0 and a where q is the infinity state of uh, state of states and x is the tape of alphabet then this is the input alphabet then it is a relation of state and symbols and uh, u0 is initial state and f is the state of final states then and it is an example the example diagram of uh, the multi track tuning machine where it is the first track second and the third like this a very good afternoon sir myself koshik das and i'll be talking about the topic a multi tape tuning machine so multi tape tuning machine have multiple tapes where each tape is accessed with a separate head so uh, in multi tape uh, tuning machine each head can move independently of the other heads so initially if we consider the input is on uh, tape 1 and others are blank so at the first the uh, at first the first step is occupied by the input and the other tapes are kept blank so in the next uh, step the machine reads consecutive symbols uh, under its head and the uh, tuning machine prints a symbol on each step and moves 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 his head uh, in the left uh, left shift right shift or there can be also no shift so uh, in a multi tape tuning machine uh, there are formally uh, it is a formally six tuple so it it is represented by q x uh, b delta q not and x so i will be talking about each of them now so uh, in uh, uh, q defines is uh, a q is a finite set of states x is the uh, tape alphabet Uh, b is the blank symbol and uh, delta is the relation on states and uh, symbols so uh, this is uh, delta is the only part which uh, differs it from the normal tuning machine so here we can see delta is q into x x k which is equal to q into x into left shift or right shift or no shift so uh, it is multiplied by k so k is basically uh, the uh, number of tapes so uh, the number of shifts we can perform uh, is 
uh, key times uh, and it cannot exceed key. And uh, if is the uh, set of final states. So moving on to the next slide. Yeah. So uh, this is an example uh, that I have drawn using uh, uh, that you have told you to draw it with hand. So uh, suppose we are taking n equals to two. two. So uh, the transition function here is uh, q into x to the power n, which means that q into x to the power n into uh, either it can move uh, left or right uh, n number of times. So as I have told, n equals to 2 here. So there are uh, two states, that is q q naught and q1 as you can see in the diagram. Uh, so uh, here as you can see, uh, uh, a is replaced with x and then in the next step, uh, e, e is replaced by y. So uh, then uh, we can see that uh, the tape 1 attached to the q, q1 uh, moves, moves to the uh, left direction and the tape 2 uh, attached to q1 moves, moves to the uh, right direction. So this is the fun normal functioning of uh, the tape curing machine. Uh, now moving on to the next slide. Uh, so this is the uh, GET 2020 question. The question is that for a Turing machine, M, uh, M denotes an encoding of M. Uh, uh, we have to consider the following two languages, L1 uh, and, and L2. So we have to decide which of one of the following is options is correct. So as you can uh, understand uh, by uh, calculation that uh, uh, Turing machine M holds with 2021 uh, steps for all inputs of length less than or equals 2021. And if it is not halting within 2021 steps, uh, and definitely it is taking more than 2021 steps. So it is uh, it is uh, decidable. So uh, in uh, similarly for L2 also we can uh, see that uh, uh, we can see uh, check that if the Turing machine M holds within 20, uh, 2021 steps for uh, some input of length less than or equal to 20, 2021. So uh, if it's not halting in 21 steps for uh, some input, uh, it is taking more than uh, this number of steps. So this is also uh, decidable. So uh, we can understand that both L1 and L2 uh, uh, options are correct. Therefore, uh, answer A is the correct option. Uh, so that's all from my, my side. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, Michael Feinsworth. So now I will explain about the multi-net Turing machine. So uh, in a uh, multi-net Turing machine, it contains two or more heads to read the symbol on the same head. And uh, in one step, all the heads change the scan symbol and move or write independently. And the third one is multi-net Turing machine can be uh, simulated by a single head Turing machine. Moving on to the next slide. So uh, here is uh, a uh, gate question of uh, 2020. So uh, let's do the encoding of a Turing machine as a string over epsilon equals to 0, 0,1. Let A equals to A is a Turing machine that accepts a string of length 2014. So uh, here the explanation is there are a uh, higher number of strings of length 2014. So a Turing machine will take the input of length 2014 and test it. And if the input string is present in the language, then Turing machine will halt in a final state. But if Turing machine is unable to accept the input string, then it will uh, halt uh, in non-final state or go in an invariant loop and never halt. Thus, L uh, is uh, indecisible and resources is uh, enumerable. So our option D is the correct option. Thank you. That's all for my presentation and the next part will be explained by Devargo uh, Bhuman. Thank you, Anish. Uh, now I will explain what um, what a non-deterministic Turing machine is. So it is basically a theoretical model of computation whose governing rules specify that more than one possible action is possible in some given situation. Uh, that is uh, a non-deterministic. That is a non-deterministic Turing machine's next step uh, is not completely determined by its action. And the current symbol uh, that it sees, uh, unlike a deterministic Turing, Turing machine, and uh, the computation uh, of a non-deterministic Turing machine is a tree of configurations that can be reached from the start of the configuration, and uh, an input is 
accepted if there is at least one node of the tree uh, which is an accept configuration otherwise it is not some non-deterministic Turing models uh, in a machine learning setup might consist of the computer following paths of logic uh, to an accepted or a, uh, to an accepted or a rejected end, and then going back and choosing an action accordingly. As we have this um, diagram where we see that the non-deterministic Turing machine can have multiple states that can emanate from a single state. Here Q2 and Q3 are the two choices that the Turing machine can make and, um, and uh, those are two choices um, depend on the input to the current state Q1. And this is an uh, and uh, this is a question that was asked in gate 2020 that is based on non deterministic Turing machine. Here the question asks that uh, which of the following pairs have uh, different expressive powers. So if we consider the first option, uh, then uh, then a single tape cooling machine and a multi-dimensional cooling machine both have the same expressive power. Same for option B, and for the fourth option, um, DFA and NFA are of the same power because we can convert every NFA to DFA and vice versa. But for the third option, um, non-deterministic cooldown automata can handle languages or commerce with ambiguity but uh, deterministic system automata cannot do that and NTDA cannot be converted to DPD so they don't have the same expressive power hence their expressive powers are different hence, um, hence option C uh, is the correct answer so these are the three main sources from uh, where we have collected the information in this Thank you. Very good presentation.